In this video guys, we are spending 100 days as Itachi Uchiha from Naruto in Shindo Life Roblox. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the goals for this video are, the first thing is to dress up as Itachi Uchiha. Then the second thing is to of course get his two bloodlines, Bankai Inferno and Bankai Akuma on the same account. Lock all the moves from the bloodlines, max them out, reach max level, unlock our fire element too and then at the end we're going to be fighting our rival so yes yeah, stay tuned for that all right guys so the first thing that we need to do is of course make a brand new account we're going to be calling it itachi we're going to call it itachi finity to potentially give us the extra look for the bloodlines that we need all right the brand new account is made we go into shindo life and i'm just hoping our look for just one time i'm hoping our look is just better than usual i'm hoping we get it first try if we get it first try first account that'll be absolutely amazing all right we are in shindo life and now we just need to go and edit and of course look like itachi so i'll be back when we have basically his avatar done all right and just like that we have basically copied itachi's look in my opinion we look very very accurate to be honest i prefer it without the band i feel like it just covers his eyes and stuff so i'd rather not have the like the leaf band so i'm just gonna keep it like that and now for the bloodlines we're aiming to get the both the bloodlines the bankai akuma and bankai inferno in the same account because without them both it's just basically going to be useless because one is a c spec and one's a z spec so there's even more of a reason to use both of them at the same time so yeah i'm just going to be spinning and spinning and spinning and hoping our look is good for once and we get it first try so yeah i'm going to be spinning and when we get like a good bloodline i'll be back hey we got doctor strange which is not that bad however to be honest, we only spun like we only spun like 30 40 spins we've got one decent bloodline but we just need the two bankais man if we get them both that'll just be like amazing but i i to be honest i doubt we're gonna get it in our first account because i just realized getting them getting one of them is gonna be very very hard getting two of them is gonna be basically impossible bro it's gonna take me so so long to get them both on the same account hey we also got 10 goku which is a very very good bloodline I keep saying the very very good bloodlines but we can't even use them it's an eye bloodline i think it's like a renegan or something but yeah we can't use it unfortunately because our main focus is to get the sharingan the mangaku sharingan of itachi so yeah we're just gonna keep on spinning keep on spinning 200 spins left oh we got a headless too we're getting some decent bloodlines to be honest just not the ones that we want so our look so far has not been that bad we got a headless which i barely barely get even when i'm spinning for like something else i've never basically got headless so yeah it's a pretty pretty good pretty good bloodline just not the ones that we really really need bro i said i barely get headless and i just got it again in like two spins what's going on bro i can't have one or the other i have to have both of them because i feel like that'll just make the challenge a lot lot better since they're like z spec and c spec so yeah i just i'm just hoping we do get it but it's gonna be very very difficult hey and another 10 goku bro we're just gonna keep we'll keep on getting like the rare bloodlines but the same ones man just give us different ones please game just give us the ones the ones that we want man just give us the bankais hey we got another one of the rare bloodlines hey we also got zeno dokai which is a good good bloodline for grinding bro just keep on getting these good bloodlines man i don't know i don't think we've even got one akima from that spinner we not even got one akuma which is very very bad bro we even got xenodokai again man what is going on i didn't even stop recording and we've got xenodokai again what like bro hey we finally got an akuma with 22 spins left so there's literally no hope for us on this account to get it but you know what maybe shindo life is listening and they could give us in the last two spins but finally at least we finally got one akuma not the right one but we still got an akuma which means next account it is i think i feel like next account is the one we're gonna get it straight off the bat but yeah we got 18 spins left i still have hope that we could get it but yeah i'm gonna finish these 18 spins and i'll be back because i know for oh we got we've also got shindo akuma too bro we're getting we're getting we got two akumas in the space of like five spins but not the right akumas but yeah that's pretty pretty good to be honest all right and the last spin to finish it off somehow imagine the last spin we get two of the bloodlines at the same time which is basically impossible but last spin to finish it off what are we getting we're gonna get okay we got the wood bloodline but yeah guys i'm gonna be spinning on a different account i'm just gonna be basically switching accounts until we do get the combo that we want 
and i'll see you guys when we do got it but yeah this is gonna take so so long so yeah i'll see you guys then all right guys and just like that we have the two bloodlines on the same account we have bankai akuma bankai inferno i need to be careful not to touch them at all and for the elements of course i'm just gonna be going solely for fire because yeah it's actually used fire for the whole show so there's no point of using any other one and we're gonna get straight into blades we're gonna be checking out the prices and stuff and i can assure you these are gonna be expensive i know for a fact bankai akuma is gonna be for like what 500,000, 1 million 1 million and I think I think Bankai Inferno is going to be the same because they're like basically the same bloodline. Um, I th I'm think they're going to be the same. But imagine like Bankai Inferno somehow cheaper. But it's unrealistic though. All right, we are in Shindo and go on bloodlines. Six hundred. This costs even more, bro. This costs even more than. Oh my god, it costs more than Bankai Akuma. When do we equip the bloodlines? Level six hundred, and this one I think is level fifty. I'm assuming, yeah, level 50. And the elements, of course, fire is just normal. And the first thing that we normally do is we're going to be doing some missions. And for now, I think we're just going to aim for like the red or blue missions. There's no point of doing green scroll missions because we have literally no moves. So we're going to be basically powerless. And here, can you pick up some weeds? Ah, nah, I don't really want to do that. Why is Madara trying to kill us, bro? Relax, bro. We're basically level 1. But yeah, I want to try and find the blue ones that like find my missing cat and stuff because they're the easiest. Bro, why is the guy trying to hit me? He, literally, I'm not I'm not getting damaged at all. There's no point of hitting me. Can you find my missing cat? This is the one that we want. And where is the missing cat? It's literally right there. And this should like level us up by a few levels. So let me just go up here. Boing. Like so. And the missing cat. Okay. That's leveled up by a decent amount of levels. It's going to level us like 30. Around 30 levels, is it? Like, exactly 30 on the dot, which is very, very good. And now let me check the other blue scroll missions. How much coins does that give us? It gives us 5k. So, I feel like the blue scroll missions are the best. Can you clean up the Kage office? Now, this one's going to be way too long. Let me go to the other ones. The red ones are also very, very good. It's like delivering packages, which is very, very easy. So, is this one deliver? Can you deliver some mail for me? Yeah, this is very, very easy. So, we just go to different various houses. We literally have... We have to do basically two of them, that's it. So we just go up here. All right, the first mail. Oh, we just, <laughs> we literally have to deliver one envelope and we already got the quest. Okay, we've got 9k. Do we got any, okay, level up once, we get that. We get that too. Okay, there's some ones that we can do easily. Okay, so unlock a weapon, that is very, very easy to do. So I'm just gonna put, I think I have to put like 200 stats into my tie. So, okay, it's so only 100 and then after that, we go on L and just like that quick profit just like so and now the basically what we need to aim for is like the bloodlines and elements to be like level 50 oh wait let me just go and travel uh, elements here and i think i'm gonna try i think i'm gonna be doing a little bit of log grinding getting our elements to level 120 so we unlock the t two first moves and then we can also unlock the bloodline uh, mode so yeah so yeah i'm gonna be doing just a little bit of log grinding so that we can unlock the first two moves of our element and also unlock our mode therefore we can actually start completing green scroll missions so yeah i'll see you guys then Alright guys, just like that, very very easy and we've got the bloodlines and the elements level 120 so we can unlock this move here. Oh, we need 160 chi, of course, okay. I'm gonna put 450, 450 and then here, we uh, do we need health? We're gonna put uh, 100 into health and then more into nin, so 150 into nin and now if we go in elements, we can unlock this move and we can unlock this move. Oh, we need 500 chi. No. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I should have read it. Okay. We only have one move. And if we go on bloodline, we can we can equip the mode. And now we can charge up our chi and unlock the mode. So and yeah, look, bro. We are moving so much faster. And now that gives us like basically enough power to do green scroll missions very very easily so let me find a green scroll mission there's literally one right there and there we go help taijutsu students okay that's perfect the taijutsu students are the best because they don't have any like abilities so we're just gonna go to them and absolutely destroy them there's two of them so yeah this should not be that difficult at all all right we've basically only got one move i'm hoping the c-spec is also a good move so the c is a c-spec again just suit it is kind of like a genjutsu, oh no. I hate it when the C-spec is like a genjutsu, okay. So we only have one move for now and taijutsu. That's what's gonna carry us for now. And that was so, so easy. And do we have enough stats? Yes, we do. I'm putting 200 into chi. There we go. 
and now if we go on elements unlock this and put this into t and do we have any coins that we can unlock here oh we're close with this one here okay punch 27 more times we're close with that so we might as well start punching whilst we're running so we get some extra extra coins because we're gonna need because we're gonna need so much coins to unlock the six moves because this one is a z spec so we can go in fgh2 so we'll have to basically unlock every single one of the moves so it's gonna be a very 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 long journey and now that should have been enough okay there we go we've got 13k and okay this one's at level 290 oh okay so we're gonna need a lot a lot of coins this challenge is gonna require you to get so much real coins it's gonna be uh, it's just gonna be astonishing because i think we need like five six million just to unlock the bloodline moves and then like a million or like five hundred thousand to unlock all the fire moves so yeah it's gonna be a very very long journey and the best way to do it is just doing green scroll missions and potentially doing red scroll missions but for now i don't think we're, we're not able to do them now but maybe in the future we can do some red scroll missions so there we go accept and we need to kill corrupt obelisk ninjas and they're not that difficult either to be honest the green scroll missions are very very easy especially when you're on a low level they're very 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 weak so you can basically like one or two shot them easily i just want to know what c-spec does bro because this c-spec like it seems like it's meant to do like a good why have we got i just realized why have we got a mustache why have we got a mustache you know what i don't know why we have a mustache but we're gonna keep it because that makes the tattoo look even more drippy bro but yeah okay so i don't know why the c-spec does so little damage it does like it does like a thousand or something like i was hoping the c-spec to do a lot of damage but yeah the fire the fire element is just too good and we just killed them just like that and we have 41 and to be honest our main priority now wait when is our next mode all right 450 our main priority now is just probably to get lots of coins and probably get to like level 290 360 with our bloodlines potentially like level 450 so we'll lock mode 2 and also have enough coins to unlock these two elements so yeah i'm gonna do i'm possibly gonna be doing a training arc right now we're gonna start off the training arc early on where we just do as many groups scroll like missions as possible to get as many coins as and as many levels as possible so yeah so yeah the training arc commences now Alright guys, after a little bit of grinding, we've got our bloodline to level 450, which means we can finally unlock our second mode. Okay, so, oh, I don't know why I just unmolded there, but let me mold back. Bro, that mustache is making us look drippy. And now we've got form 2, which means now we can actually unlock like part of our suit and it looks pretty, pretty good. Got it to level 450, so technically, we can unlock these first two moves, but we have basically no cash to unlock them, unfortunately. And also, if we go on elements, yes, okay. So now we basically have so much moves, so it's going to make it so much easier to do these green scroll missions, because before, it was very, very difficult. Trust me, guys, it was so, so hard, because the first two moves are pretty, pretty bad, I'll be honest with you. The five moves are very, very bad, so I was basically just using my Taijutsu for the most of it. But now that we have five different moves, we can easily, easily kill these guys. I've got this so we can go use my C-Spec here. Okay, finally, that C-Spec is really, really good. Okay, and our Q-Spec. Okay, we've got also a very, very decent Q-Spec too. That has basically soloed those guys in one second, bro. That was so, so quick. Wow, okay, that C and, that C and Q-Spec were absolutely amazing. We didn't even have time to use the moves that we had, the fire moves. So I'm going to do another Grease Core mission. So I can show you the new fire moves because I'm super super excited to test about a group of Nimbus. There we go, accept. And we need to go to them. To be honest, now I'm not sure what to do. It's either I have to like, first of all, I have to get a lot, a lot of coins. So I'm guessing I'm going to be doing a lot more green scroll missions. However, I'm not too sure what else to do because I need to also level up my bloodline and stuff. Uh, but I think that literally there's barely anything to do in Shadow Life nowadays. It's very, very repetitive. So it's going to be hard for me to like kind of switch it up a bit. But yeah, I'm going to use my G move here. And then my H move. Nope, oh, I couldn't use it there because it got cancelled. We can just use some of our M1s and our Q spec. 
Never mind, we didn't even have time to use our key spec because they all died. Wow, that this is super, super good now. Especially when we unlocked mode 2. That's made it a lot, lot better for us. And I think the next mode, is it? Okay, yeah, the Bankai Awakening is level 800. And also our Susano is level 800. So our main goal is to get to level 800. So we unlock our, so we can unlock our Susano. And when do we unlock this again? Level 600 Bloodline. So I'm guessing now I think I have to do more Green Scroll missions. Because there's literally nothing for me to do right now. Because I'm super, super low level. And also, have we got any quests here that we've completed? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think um, I have to get on my bloodline, of course, to level 800. And this one to level 600. And to be honest, my elements are fine. So this time, I'm not going to be doing no training arc. We're going to be doing a time skip arc. Where I just go from level 400 to the level that we need to be getting. I think I'm going to aim for level 800 with our bloodline. And level 600 with this other bloodline too. So yeah, we're going to be doing a time skip arc. Where it actually levels up as much as possible. But before we start that, of course, we need to take a ramen break. Get our energy all the way up. Because this is going to be a lot a lot of green scroll missions so all right now that we've got the green ramen ball it means we're full up and ready to do the time skip so yeah i'll see you guys when we have our bankai akuma and inferno to a good level that we can actually start progressing and start killing bosses and stuff so yeah i'll see you guys then all right so time skip is over and we the level 710 and if we go on bloodlines, it's level 800 and 1. And also our Bankai Inferno is also leveled up so we can... Oh my god, this also costs money. I, I just realized these specs cost money. So we need to get more money to unlock the mode too. So this is going to be a hell of a lot of a journey because it's going to cost us so much money to lock everything. But now our main priority, now that we're level 800 with our bloodline, our main priority is to obtain that Bankai Akuma form 4. And the way to do that is by killing the Bankai boss, of course, which spawns in the Ember Village or the Blaze Village. We're in the Blaze Village, so we're going to go and kill it there. To be honest, we don't really need to kill the boss itself. We just need to kill the Susano form, then that drops it. So we need to just basically aim at the Susano. Yes, sir. Bankai Akuma is right here. Of course, I want to fight the Bankai Akuma boss. I do not want to fight the boss boss. I just want to fight the Susano. Okay. So I just want the Susano to come to me by itself. There we go. And we just M1 it. We have just an M1. M1 off. Okay. There we go. Yes, you do damage. I do damage. Oh, he does damage, damage. Don't relax. Okay. He does a lot, a lot of damage. Okay, I did not anticipate on that. But he does so much damage. I do not want the boss to come anywhere near us. Because if he does, he's going he's gonna to basically just kill us instantly. So we just need to use our H move. But bro, our, our moves are barely hitting, I can't lie. Bro, he does so much damage, he, like, compared to us. Wait, already dead? Wow. Okay, he's on 396,000 HP, which is not that bad, to be honest. So we can, of course, kill him. Bro, 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 come back, bro. You're fighting me, not somebody else. But yeah, we're going to hit him a bit before he kills us again. Yeah, he's on 136,000 HP, so one more time of us respawning and we should kill him. Oh my god, he's so, so strong. And we we don't have any of our moves for our bloodlines unlocked, so we can't basically do any damage. Yes, sir. Okay, finally, we can kill him because he's resting now. That's our perfect, perfect chance to absolutely obliterate him and there we go that was i was gonna say that was easy but that was definitely far from easy but now if we go with form four before our md runs out look at that bro the perfect susano that looks so so clean with the shield and sword bro we yeah bro we look absolutely we just abs look absolutely menacing right now no one can stop us bro the m1s now do so much more damage and we just basically are unstoppable i can't wait to fight our rival at the end of the video but yeah now before we of course fight our rival we need to unlock every single move and that's gonna cost us so much money okay so if we do calculation real calculation quick one okay this is gonna cost us around 3 million 2.5 million 5.5 million we need 4 million coins to unlock the mode and all of these moves so yeah this is gonna be super super long we're not even eight, level 800 yet because if we were level 800 We'd be getting coins a lot faster. We're level 711. So first of all, we need to get to level 800. And then after that, we start just... We're going to do green score missions regardless. But we need to do green score missions to get to level 800. And then from level 800, we need to do more green score missions to get 4 million coins. So yeah, this is going to be a hell of a lot of a journey. Here. But yeah, before we start the training arc, let me, of course, first of all, let me get some ramen just, you know, to give us that extra boost. Because I can tell this journey 
this is gonna be a very 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 long journey because bro the green skull missions are just the super super long to do and have to do like 80 or 90 of them but yeah training arc part 2 commences now Alright guys, finally after so, so long of grinding, we were grinding for super, super long, we managed to get 6.3 million Rayo coins, bro it took us so, so long, so if you've not smashed that like button already, please do, that would be super, super appreciated, however now we can finally unlock every single one of my moves, so unlock this move, unlock this move, V, B, N, unlock, and then after that we can unlock the mode, and then unlock this move, this move and this move we have 300,000 left so we can buy I think I'm gonna buy uh, if I go on ninja tools I'm gonna have to buy the health stim because I know our rival is gonna be extremely difficult but before we fight our rival I'm just gonna showcase these moves I'm just shall I go, uh, I'm just gonna first of all mode up first I'm gonna go to mode 4 with this it's gonna take so much MD off us for us to like basically mode or using both modes is going to take so much MD. But look at that form one. Is there a form two? Okay, I'm glad there's no form two. But look, bro, we look absolutely drippy. Bro, look at our MD though. It's going like by so so fast. So I'm going to demode for now before we fight our boss because I don't want my MD to run out very very fast. And the boss that we're going to be fighting is our younger brother Ryan Alkama slash Sasuke. So I know for a fact he spawns here because I fought him before. So we're going to be fighting him. This time, we're not going to go easy on him. This time, we're going to absolutely destroy him. So, uh, yes, it is. Okay, that is Ryan Akuma. So, now we mode up to our perfect Susano form. Okay, it actually didn't have in the anime because if he did, he would have absolutely destroyed Sasuke either way. But, yeah. Okay, now let me just go in here. And this. Okay. So, for also for the elements, R, T, and Y. Okay, we need to try and finish this as fast as possible because our MD is going to run out very, very quick and in the blaze village it does not replenish like at all basically so we're just gonna have to fight him head on i've not really used any of these moves yet but they're all very very good moves but they're all like kind of genjutsu moves as you can see i've used two of them or three of them right now and yeah they're very very good however they're genjutsu moves oh but bro we are doing damage against him however he is doing so much damage the thing is the thing that i'm really worried worried about is like my md running out before we of course like kill him basically because our MD is super, like running out very, very, very fast. Like super, super quick. Okay, we need to try and take it down the Susano first, I feel like. And then we take out Sasuke. So let me take out the Susano. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. M1. To be honest, the M1s are going to carry us so much. Because we can barely land any of these moves. Because they're all like Genjutsu moves, which is very, very annoying. All right, the uh, thingy. Okay, this is resting. Okay, the Susano is resting. So we can take that down easily. And the Susano is done, okay, Susano is done. And now we all have to worry about is the boss, okay. We have barely any, any MD left, which is so, so annoying. Because I know for a fact it's going to take us so, so long to replenish the MD. But it is what it is, okay. We're going to use our T move and our Y move here. Get as much, like, HP down as possible. We just have to, to be honest, we just have to rely on him to, like, to rest so we can fight him. So we're just going to have to run away first, of course. I don't wanna I don't wanna die against this guy once. That's my that's my goal to not die against this guy once. So I'm just gonna wait a bit until our HP regens and our MD also regens. But that is regening so so slow. Why is it so slow? Because this is kind of cowardly, but it is called tactics, guys, because my MD's run out, so we're just gonna have to do with what we have. So and this is what we have, so because our MD is just so so low for some reason. To be honest, we just need him to rest a little bit and then to be honest, we can like kill him straight away. We can just use our G move and our H move. We are doing a very, very good amount of damage without getting hit, which is amazing. Up oh, and we accidentally went down, so we go back up. Okay, we need to run away with our Genjutsu. And Suchi, look at boy, he has basically no HP. Look look how we tricked him. 
look how we tricked him and there we go we killed Sasuke just like that that was a little bit of a struggle however we didn't die and to be honest our MD ran out very very quick and it barely replenishes but yeah guys that has been the video of me spending 100 days as Itachi if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and also comment down below what other characters you want me to do this challenge with so just comment down below like what Naruto characters or any to be honest any anime characters comment that down below hope you have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day guys and peace out guys peace out